the guest I have today, I should be treating her more than this, but this is the best I can offer. And I have with me Ria Agarwal. Yeah, Ria yeah. Agarwal. Ria Agarwal. Now, Ria gives me two things. First of all, she gives me complex and she makes me realize that what did I do in my study times. The one thing common between both of us that we are all from ICSC board. And now, the complex part is that she scored 99.75% in the plus 12, that is ICS, no? No, ISC, ISC, board. ISC, yeah. ISC board from Sanskriti the Gurukul school in Guwahati and she ranks the first in the entire country. Indeed, a proud moment for us. Though not for me because it gives complex and many times every time i see her then i realize that what did i do in my time eh? my father always called it me for that 60 marks i couldn't get and possibly you have a an iota of repentance that if i could have got that one single mark it would have been a perfect cent on cent no, not really. Uh, I don't think so because I'm more than glad and I'm overwhelmed currently. And I feel that nobody should get that 10% marks firstly because humans are viable to make mistakes and if you are securing that 100%, that specifically means that you're perfect and I believe that nobody is perfect. So definitely no. Where did you miss out that single mark? I think uh, it was English where I scored 99, uh, so yeah. What went wrong in that English paper? I am not sure. First of all, I was not confident after appearing the English paper. I was like, maybe I'm not even sure if I'll get a 95 because there was some kind of confidence lacking, but I worked the hardest for English because that's a subject in IIC that we truly believe is not really scoring. What is the combination you had? So the combination I had was economics, psychology, political science, maths and art. What was the toughest in that line? Maths for me definitely because maths has been a challenge I for me forever. One thing that actually makes me happy now is that maths fears her also and scares me too. <laughs> but she could overcome, I couldn't. Anyways, so, uh, you, you, so you had some jittery feelings on maths. Yeah, about definitely. Maths. So what did you do to overcome that? Uh, there was only maths that I took tuitions for as well but then I took maths at the end like uh, when I was in class 11 I dropped maths because of my fear even though I scored really well in my class 10 board examinations but still that fear was not gone so I felt that maybe I could pursue something that did not have maths in it and even though I was good at it and I knew it the anxious feelings before exam really terrified me so uh, when I was at the end of class 11 before my class 11 final examinations I thought that no, for the career that I really want to pursue, I'll need math somehow and my parents pushed me for it as well. What do you want to pursue now? Uh, it's economics and politics. The good thing is that when you score marks like Ria, then you have top five universities in your hand <laughs> and you have the option to choose. Now she possibly has five universities from UK. And one university from India as well. One in Ashoka. Yeah. So one university from India, five from UK. Now you choose what? That's the toughest question right now but in India it's definitely Ashoka University as an option and if I'm sure that I want to go to London, it's London School of Economics because that's the best for my course. There are colleges like University uh, College London which has offered me a place as well but they are really good at other subjects. LSE is better at economics and political science, I believe. So, London School of Economics for you. Yes. So, rhetoric is a question for 2-4 questions. Everyone will ask you. I would like to be a bit different and ask you. We are like we are reading and reading. I was no different. I was no different. You also slept? Yeah, I always used to sleep. Whenever I, was, I would lie in my bed, I used to keep my books and I was always sleeping. In the morning, I would wake up with my book on my head and I did not Papa even really Papa didn't No, he was not serious about studies. He was like, uh, he knew that I would do it, I guess. He always had that confidence in me. So, even if... Gosh, my father also <laughs> had that kind of confidence on me. I could have, I would have done better. He was like, <laughs> take life with thoda more chill. Hmm. Do not take it so seriously. You will do it at the end and whatever. Would you like to categorize yourself as a nerd? 
No, not at all. As I what? used to party a lot. I went out with my friends. I used to party even during my board examinations, honestly. Hmm. So I had that gap between my political science and psychology, and I still went out with my friends and for parties. No, Bhagwan, who gives it, he means that he gives it properly. So now, as long as you do it, you have to be right. Right. It was not about not doing the hard work, but doing it according to time management since the start of time in class twelve. This is the first physical exam, I believe, you appeared after three yes, years. Yes. Plus, uh, class ten was marks at your home. Yeah. Huh? No exams. No exams. Marks at your home. Yes. Couldn't judge yourself. But I couldn't, appeared. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't estimate your yeah. capacities and capabilities. Yeah. This was the real test. Yes. Class twelve. Were you anxious at that point of time? After Very, after lot many days, you will be appearing one physical real exam. So uh, class twelve was entirely offline, but we were appearing for the first board. So the entire batch of twenty twenty three, we were really nervous. But at the same time, I think we took boards a little lightly than the other batches because for us in the Indian universities, that is not a requirement anymore. Most of the students they love. This is what I best can offer you now. Thank you so much. कितना मिठाई खाया आज? बहुत 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 खाया ना और भी खाना बाकी है बट यार मुझे नहीं पसंद बताई मुझे नहीं खाना और क्या लेना चाहिए था सबको पिज्जा लाके लाना था इधर के I don't like eating only like I can explore different cuisines to some level but I don't love eating as such so love what reading <laughs> not reading different things designing etc reading या yeah, all of those हम 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 तो खाते खाते बर्बाद हो गए हैं इसीलिए कम खाना चाहिए ऐसा होना आता है तो ठीक है एनीवेज तो आप बता रहे थे कि द कोविड टाइम डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कोविड टाइम दिस इज द रियल टेस्ट सो हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ डिड ऑनलाइन समय हेल्प यू द एंटायर ऑनलाइन रेजीम एवरीबडी वेन थ्रू हाफ ऑफ द पेरेंट्स कीप ऑन कंप्लेनिंग दर लड़का बर्बाद हो गया मोबाइल का लत लग गया ऑनलाइन सपोर्टेड माई एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर्स अ लॉट आई स्टार्टेड वेरिंग माई स्पेक्स आफ्टर माई ऑनलाइन क्लासेस that was a, this, this is the gift yeah that huh? is a very disappointing covid gift point, yeah. give covid, COVID gift. gift yeah Some, somehow uh, uh, and i don't like wearing it but Some, i have to wear somehow it. somehow impedes your looks yeah yeah huh? it does bura dikhta hai open the trick bura dikhta hai acha okay uh, or so uh, that was the time that pinched my extra curriculars i was at the peak of my productivity during that time because i participated in a lot of online events internships organizations etc But then, when it became offline, I was a lot more devoted to my studies academically. The online attention that you get from your that, teachers, the division of concentration becomes less. Less. You are more focused now. Yeah. Than during the COVID time. Yes, right. definitely. Okay. So during the COVID time, even when you are at home, you like to maybe watch Netflix, something else. कभी ऐसा किया कि नहीं मतलब जिस क्वेश्चन the teacher को mute करके रख दिए. और दूसरा काम करते रहे टीचर yeah, से बोलतेमरी a lot but sometimes yeah okay yeah so like after this entire covid thing got over and then you realize that you need to go to school classes and then the exams are there then you really became but change your gear or it was the same kind of regime you follow it was the same for me even in 11 i was very serious at the end 11 became offline as well and uh, 11 was kind of serious for me but uh, when it came to 12 I knew that I had to prove it once in my life. I had never got the opportunity even in class ten exams, and I was kind of devoted to my twelve exams, not entirely throughout the year, but somehow I managed it. Somewhere between partying and my friends, I thought that those two hours every day or that one hour every day and the weekly test that I had got, I had to do well, and I ended up doing well in every exam. How much time do you? I mean, an average student needs to devote to studies. I suppose that is average. कितना समय? I feel that uh, for an average student, first of all, nobody is average for me. If you uh, are good at something or maybe not good at other, you are really good at things. You are not average. But uh, I feel that three hours is enough every day. Like that's more than enough. Between before your exams, you need to revise your topics. I, I, I really cannot show this interview to my son. <laughs> I, I keep on telling him at least to six to seven hours of studies you need to do. When he gets to hear this from the top rank holder of the country that three hours is enough, 
He'll say, I'm doing pretty enough, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> I'm studying five hours a day. Yeah? So three hours is enough. For every day. But before your exams, mm. I feel that for the revision of the concept you have learned mm. throughout the year, you need the extra six to seven hours at least. Besides your book, extra help? No. I always preferred my textbooks and the things that my teacher told me over any Classes are more important. Resources. Classes yeah. are more important. And your textbooks, like ISC, uh, CBS, etc. Tuitions, have prescribed the syllabus tuitions. for you. Tuition, it was only for maths because that was the area I found. Nowadays, you get to see these alternative study courses. Yeah. People don't go to practical schools and yes. go somewhere else. Only for the exams, they end up in the school. Yeah. These kind of things helps. Do you I, ever felt the need? I don't think so. Maybe people go for such online courses, links, they help them boost their resources, internal, intellectual resources, etc. But for me, it never worked out that way. For me, I felt my teachers, my classes were a lot more than enough. And the textbooks that I used to read personally was the supporting factor in every exam. So it, there was no external links, there was no external resources. Maybe I used to uh, take the help of internet sometimes for understanding some concepts more clearly, maybe YouTube videos, etc. But not that specifically. Now when you decide to go abroad for your studies, do you think scholarships will help? Definitely. I feel that uh, scholarships is very, very important. First of all, for the cost of studying abroad, 90% of the Indians cannot afford it because the kind of inflation that is there in the countries like UK specifically right now, the cost is just kind of increasing compared to the Indian currency as well. So I feel that scholarships is a supporting factor for real talents. Because otherwise, maybe students can take external help. You have applied? Curate them. Yeah, I have applied for financial aid as well. Okay. So now the real question is that economics to you are taking, you are economics then what? Like you liked, but what do you see as a career? For me, as a career is uh, coming back to India. Joining the gaps between the policies that are existing right now. So the issues uh, that we are facing currently as a society. There are several policies which are lacking in mainstreaming the gender processes. So I want to really go to that policy making sphere currently or directly after my undergrad major. Joining the civil services. Not the civil services. Politics. Politics. Politics? Not politics, but policy making, think tanks, etc. So, the one that curates your policy. Okay. So, I think that's the first uh, step that I would like to take. So, after you come back, you would like to have an individual sort of entity and start your own thing? Not start my own thing, join the think tanks, etc., which are already related to the political organizations mm -hmm. and helping them to curate the policies that are existing in India right now. Does politics fascin fascinate you? It does, but it's not like only politics does, anything concerning the society does. So it's an amalgamation of both politics as well as economics and other subjects that come under the umbrella of social science as a whole. Abhi se focused. Kya karna chahiye, kya hoga, kya ho sakta hai, aur kaise ho sakta hai, right? So, uh, tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Chawal, roti, dal, or Kuch bhi nahi. biryani? Biryani bhi nahi. Tandoori? Nahi. Pizza? Ah. Ah, chha, pizza. Thik, <laughs> pizza burger? Maybe. Ah, maybe. Nahi pasand hai, ye sab bhi nahi pasand. Maybe more like Italian food or something. Pasta, ah. spaghetti. Ah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't offer you that. Sure. Ah? I love coffee as well. You love coffee as well. So, how many coffee did you drink at no, I didn't have one cup of coffee done. I did, coffee made me sleep somehow, I don't know how. No, you, extra caffeine it does make you feel yeah, sleepy. Yeah. So, but no, I did not take extra ca caffeine. It was only like one cup of coffee daily. And that was also cold coffee with very less amount of coffee in it. it so what was your for parents' first reaction when the results came? I think they were more surprised, excited, overwhelmed than I was. 
I did not check my results. I was already crying in the corner. अरे ना आपको तो समझ में आ ही गया था कि इतना में तो आना ही है कुछ. नहीं मुझे नहीं पता था मैं तो रो रही थी एक कोने में. Before looking at the results. So I did not want to look at them only. I was tense since morning. Yeah, that kind of feeling we also had because we uh, we thought that our name name would never appear on the scoreboard. Uh, with the list, it will never come only. So we're so confident on that. Uh, you were more confident. You were worrying about the top position, I believe. No, I was not really worrying about top position, but I always wanted that more than ninety eight for me because I wanted more than my class ten board exams. Mm. But I never imagined something beyond ninety nine for myself. Mm. And being the country topper is beyond my imagination. So now you are the poster girl for your school. Yeah, kind hmm? of. Yeah. Feels good. Yes. Yeah. अपने आप को hero hero जैसा लग रहा है. Not really, like not hero hero, but I feel good. I feel uh, proud of myself as well today. So thank you for that little bit of chit chat, and I thank really so really hope and expect that you succeed more in your life, and one day we'll see you as a top. policy maker on the country thank you, you so have much. it in it thank you thank you so much for being with us it is great talking to you thank you thank you